hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in Windows application how to add a progress bar when inserting a new records into a database using C sharp and here we got the output I'm entering the employee name Charan Charan at gmail.com and salary is 15,000 now before insert this record let's check the SQL server table execute right now this table contains zero rows let's insert the values insert record and here we got the output so after, after click the button control we got the progress bar and record inserted successfully and here we got the 100% actually this 100% must be here and the record inserted successfully should be here ok it's not a big issue we can change those labels that's it ok let's check that and the table I'm executing the table here we got the employee details charan, charan at gmail.com and salary is 15,000 if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before writing the coding part in windows application first we'll create a new table in sql server management studio i'm expanding the root folder as well as the databases i'm expanding notice at the bottom there is a sample db which is a user database i have created let me expand the sample db as well as the tables folder of the sample db I want to create a new table in this sample db database I click the sample db new query let's write the query to create a table create table new emp insert is a table name the columns I'm adding emp id which is the integer type not now I'm adding identity column 1 comma 1 as well as I'm adding primary key for this column the second one is the EMP name and that cat 150 email the next column name that 150 and the last one I'm adding salary is the integer type just for the demo purpose I have added only few columns into this table let's execute to create the table execute and here we got a message command completed successfully let's refresh this table folder our table name is a new EMP insert let's find that one here we got the new EMP insert I click the table name let's browse the table select top thousand rows and here we got the results of the newly created new EMP insert table right now this table contains zero rows let's insert new records into this table with progress bar functionality let's open visual studio for this video tutorial I'm creating a new windows application go to file new project and from the templates I'm selecting Windows, the Windows Forms application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1 the application name is progress bar insert records click OK And the project is created successfully let me expand this form one design page now in this form one design page i am adding some the windows controls open toolbox i am expanding the all windows forms expand that one first let's add the label the label i'm cha i'm adding the label name is f4 go to properties of the label and changing the name employee name after that let's open toolbox now add a text box control here is a text box control let's copy the label control 
and paste and change the label name to email and the text box copy and paste the last label name f4 is a salad Control C, Control V, create a new text box control for the salary. After that, I'm adding one button control, open toolbox, the button control. I'm changing the button control ID to label insert record. So after adding the insert new record, I am adding the label control, open toolbox, label control and this label control is to display the message when records are inserted successfully or not. Press F4, in the label 4 properties, the text, I am deleting the default label name. So after adding the controls, now we require the progress bar control, open toolbox, let's add the progress bar, here it is a progress bar, add that one, and here we got the progress bar control, Now after adding the progress bar, let's add a new label to display the percentage label control. F4. I'm deleting the default label file text. So after that, we require the last control open toolbox. We need the background worker control, add that one. That's it, we have added the necessary controls on this web form one design page. Now the coding part left. Highlight the background worker, press F4. In the background worker properties, notice the fourth option is events, click that one. I require the event name is a do work. It will generate the do work event for the background worker. Let's write the code. Now in this event, I'm adding the functionality. When the progress bar starts, I want to display the numbers from 1 to 100 percentage. For that, I'm implementing for loop for int i is equals to 1, i is less than equals to 100, i plus plus. Now in this for loop, I am adding the sleep method from the thread class and we are implementing threading. So we need to add the namespace using system.threading namespace. Now we can access the thread class thread dot sleep method. I want to sleep the 10 milliseconds background worker one dot worker reports progress the property i'm adding to background worker one dot a report progress is a method i'm adding and this report progress method takes a integer type which is a percentage progress and the i value the integer value we're getting from this i let's add the i after that, we require one more event for this background worker. Again, switch back to the design mode. Highlight the background worker. Go to properties. In the background worker, the next event is a progress changed event. This progress event changed. Now, in this progress changed event, I want to display the percentage on the label progress by one dot value property is equals to e dot progress percentage property and that percentage values I want to display in the label 4 
dot text is equals to e dot progress percentage dot to string method plus I'm adding percentage after that I want to display the message if label four dot text double equals to hundred percent if the progress report if the progress bar reaches hundred percent I want to display the message the records are inserted successfully in the label five message label five dot text is equals to records inserted successfully so record record inserted successfully after that I want to clear the text box controls text box one dot text text box two dot text text box three dot text that's it we have added the code to display the percentage process in the label four after that once the progress bar reaches 100% I want to display the message record inserted successfully in the label file dot text then I want to clear the text box controls in the public form one when page loads I want to visible false progress one bar dot visible is equals to false So again switch back to the design mode now we require the button click event double click the button control it will generate the button click event now in the code behind I'm adding the namespaces for the SQL server using system dot SQL data dot SQL client using system dot configuration and notice I have added the system dot configuration namespace in this code behind but by default the system dot configuration is not available in our project references folder so we need to add manually into this project references folder right click the references add reference and find the system dot configuration namespace click ok after we adding the system dot configuration namespace open server explorer right click the relay connections add connection let's add our server name in under data connections user pc sql express this is my sql server name and the database name is a sample db test connection is succeeded ok ok here we got the sample db that db was added under data connections now we require the data source of the sample db right click the sample db dot dbo go to properties in the properties there is a connection string which contains a data source copy the data source open solution explorer in the project there is a file app.config file open that one now in this app.config file let's add our connection strings connection strings add name is equals to the connection string name is my connection I have given connection string and I'm pasting the data source which I have copied provider name our provider is the system dot data dot SQL client after adding the connection string in the app.config file again switch back to the code behind come to the button click event let's write the coding part string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings in this connection string I'm adding the connection string name open app.config file our connection string name is my connection copy that one and paste here after that add the connection string property 
SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I'm adding main con object string SQL query is equals to here the SQL query is an insert statement let's add that one insert into the table name is dbo.new emp insert let's copy that one and paste here and the values are emp name email and salary we need to add the same column names which we have provided in the table after that the values at emp name at email at salary let's close the SQL query SQL con dot open method close the connection string close method now within this open and close I'm adding SQL command class SQL com is equals to new SQL command and this SQL command class takes two parameters the first one is the SQL query which is a command text and the second parameter is a connection object which is a SQL con let's add that one connection object sql com dot parameters dot add with value between double quotes i'm adding the string parameter name here the parameter name is a at emp name over this one and paste here and the second parameter is the object value we are getting the object we are entering the values from the text box control let's add the text box control text box one dot text the second parameter name is at email copy here and this one two the last parameter salary read dot text after that I'm adding SQL com dot execute non query method. Once the record is inserted successfully, after the close connection, I'm adding worker background worker one run work as sync. Then uh, progress bar one dot show method. Uh, because at page loads we are hiding the progress bar once the button click I want to show the progress bar that's it we have done the complete coding part let's check the results start and here we got the output I'm entering the employee name Charan Charan at gmail.com and salary is 15,000 now before insert this record let's check the SQL server table execute right now this table contains zero rows let's insert the values insert record And here we got the output. So after after I click the button control, we got the progress bar and record inserted successfully. And here we got the hundred percent. Actually, this hundred percent must be here, and the record inserted successfully should be here. Okay, it's not a big issue. We can change those labels. That's it. Okay, let's check that. And the table. I'm executing the table. Here we got the employee details charan charan at gmail.com and salary is 15,000. That's it.